A few people are stealing too much. These kids out here, they know everything. They know your houses. They know where your kids go to school. They know which properties of land you have. Why must somebody have four million acres of land to his name? What happened to our mentality that we pretend and run to churches talking about Christianity, how Jesus... Do you understand what you are dealing with? The people out here don't even believe in God anymore. The people out here are tired of the lies. The religious organizations... And I have to say this, I'm a Catholic. I was so happy I saw the purple no show. Talk about the issues of a country. Let us forget that we can run this country as tribes. Let us accept that there is a new sheriff in town. That sheriff is the GNC. They are partyless, they are tribeless, they don't have money, they just have bundles and a phone. And they'll stop this country to move. I would like to plead with the members of this house when it comes to looking at what role our committees are playing. Look at what happens. I want to thank my brothers, uh, Sifuna, uh, my brother, Chirarge. I want to thank uh, Madam Dulo. These are, if many of you may not know, we've never discussed it here, how many times we've been threatened that we are raising issues about county governments losing billions. And, I mean, who doesn't know how many governors own apartments and houses in Kilimani Road? Each one of them owning an apartment costing 1.5 billion shillings. Why didn't the fool just go and build a hospital where he comes from? How I wish we stole the money and put it at home. Some of them are going to Dubai. People are going to America. You see on social media. I just bought me. I just saw somebody commenting saying, at the, the senator has nothing to do. I want him to tell me how he bought a Bentley and he's an MP. Explain to me, how does somebody, I mean, the truth is, I'm born with advantage and privilege. That is the truth. I saw my father driving a big car when I was a small boy. That is not what drives me. What drives me is, how do you get a member of parliament driving a Mercedes that costs 49 million shillings? And we are watching, and that is normal, and it is okay. And it is okay. Shame on us. Then we make sure this money doesn't go to the schools. We make sure that hospitals have no money. We start building hospitals now. We want the poor people to come to those hospitals. Poor people can't come to Nairobi Hospital. They can't come to Aga Khan. They can't, some of them can't afford Kenyatta. You saw the other day, Kenyatta has a debt of 6.6 .6 billion. The Eldoret Hospital, Eldoret KTRH, has a debt of 3.9 billion. When you ask, they tell you we don't know where the money went. Are we fools? Do we need to buy houses which have got 15 bedrooms and drive 19 cars and put them in your parking lot and you want 10,000 acres of land? You want a ranch? You fools, you won't buy a ranch in Australia. This is where we are. We keep blaming the police. The policeman cannot do anything. Have we ever gone as a Senate to go and see where the police lives? How he takes his kids to school and his salary is 19,000. And this house has to start thinking about those things. We guys must begin, and la we ladies and gentlemen in this house must begin to agree that we can reduce our salaries, that we can drive smaller cars, that we can wear kaundas. In fact, the only thing I'm very annoyed about the president, I'm the one who started wearing kaundas. Now he has given kaunda a bad name. I want Kenyans to love kaundas the way I love them. Let us wake up, Kenyans. We can't play football. Money comes from FIFA, it is eaten. World Rally Championship, money comes from there, it's eaten. You go, you want Kenya Loan Tennis Association, they only want 50,000 to hold an international uh, tennis tournament. Not even a minister appears there. But when the minister is traveling out of the country, he's got how many people? Private jet, goes to Dubai, books one of those hotels, luxury hotels, and he comes back to Nairobi with the same nine people he took with a private jet. And you assume that the Gen Z's don't know. These days, they track you. They can know which private jet you took, where it went, and how it came back. Many of us are worried because either because of history or because of what has happened, we have got a lot of money now. We are owning so much land. Please, allow us to have spatial planning. Your land, we can have an implemented law in this house to protect your even identity. But please, don't stop stealing public land. 
Let us have mercy at our people. You saw people in from Eldoret and Kakamega talking about, oh, our chambers, which our grandfathers left for us. Now you guys who are MPs and senators, you come, you chase us away, and then you throw us into court. You go and bribe the court. And I want to talk about the judiciary. We respect you. We know that you are most of the time under the pressure. We know there are certain things which you can even be blackmailed. But we want to hold you at a higher standard. We must hold the judiciary at a higher standard, the legislators at the higher standard, and make sure the president is also at the higher standard. That is how we can, we can move as a country and stop this nonsense. We, can't, we behave like monkeys running through a forest looking for bananas without knowing whether it's the bananas they want or it's oranges. I really, really want to say this, Madam Speaker, finally. I was nearly giving up on my country. I have changed my mind because of today. The young men who are fighting for this country have done us proud. Let us treat them with dignity. Let us make sure we engage them. Let us stop doing the things which make them angry, desperate, and upset with the ruling class. The truth is, if this country breaks down, it takes all of us down. I can tell you, I was in South Sudan when we were doing the co comprehensive peace agreement. I visited as a minister, as a young minister, to go and do what was called a referendum. I've been to Khartoum. I have been to Mali. I've been to uh, um, a country in West Africa. Um, I'll remember the name, Madam Speaker. You look at how people have been treated and how the political class has treated their people. Everybody looks destitute, and everybody is desperate. Let us change our ways. We can run the country peacefully, make sure everybody is a person of dignity. Let's treat our people kindly. A country that never takes care of its most vulnerable is a country that is not worth talking about. So I want to ask the political class, I want to ask all our auditors, I want to ask all members of the county assembly, Please, members of the county assembly, your job is to oversight, the MP's job is to oversight, and the senator's job is to oversight. Let the governors run the place. If they bribe you, you will not get development. 